particularly violent summer in the city of Birmingham, especially where young people are concerned. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough is live in Birmingham tonight with a message from the friend of one teen killed by gunfire. Chip. Well, Sherry, we've reported on far too many cases of gun violence this summer involving young people. The friend of a star football player killed this time last year wants people to know these shootings change lives. All his friends, everyone is just living for him now. Derek King says life is different for those who knew and loved Will Edwards. Live out his dreams and do what he would have wanted them to do. So it's a uh, list, list selfish, I guess. The Woodlawn High School football player was shot and killed in his bedroom on Labor Day weekend last year. He was just 16 years old, hoping to make it to the NFL. He was a hell of a football player and um, he was a great teammate. Family and friends called for an end to gun violence after Edwards' death. However, Birmingham continues to see one shooting after another involving young people. I can't really tell you why people would resort to this. I mean, most, most conflicts, they're just words. So it, I don't feel you know that weapons need to be involved in something. King asking other teens to think twice before pulling the trigger. Feel you on the other end of that gun. Like just just think about how your family would feel if you know if it was you. 17 year old Roderick Hodges was arrested a few days after the shooting. He's charged with capital murder as an adult. The motive in that shooting remains unclear. Live in Birmingham tonight, Chip Scarborough, WVTM 13.